In this video, we're going to talk about how to work for a political campaign, and I'm going to make it very simple and easy to understand, and it's just this. Find a candidate that you like, get your foot in the door, make yourself indispensable, and that's how you get a job. And in this video, I'm going to explain exactly how you do that. going to cover some specific things here and starting with how to find a candidate that you like, how to get your foot in the door, how to make yourself indispensable in something that is not being done well inside a campaign, and some other tips that will help you on your journey. The first and perhaps most important point about this is it's hard to volunteer. It is hard to be committed to someone that you cannot stand, that you do not like, that doesn't advocate for anything that you would want to happen in the public arena. It's very easy to work for someone that you do like, who has a pleasant personality, who is fighting for a cause that you agree with. Where do you find such a candidate? Well, have you looked at websites? Have you gone to Google to see what offices are up for election this year? Have you looked around in your community? Have you gone to anything where you might meet some political candidates? You ever noticed in a parade how many come through? If you're serious about volunteering in a campaign, and this is where it starts, find somebody that you like and find a way to get in the door. The second thing I would talk about here is how do you volunteer? Well, you can do this. You can message them on Facebook. You can go to their website and try that. Send them email to their contact page. If you know their email address, you might do that. But here was, <laughs> and it's a great story. Candidate staff was so busy that someone wasn't paying attention to the number of people who were volunteering for the campaign. And he so wanted to get involved with this campaign that what he did is he finally drove down the road, knocked on the door of the headquarters and said, I've been trying to volunteer for two weeks. What's wrong with you people? What have I got to do? He said, put me to work. That's how he got his foot in the door. The next thing I'm going to talk about is what do you do when you do have your foot in the door. And this is very important if you ever want to work in a political campaign. If you say you're going to show up, you show up. If you make a commitment to get something done, you keep that commitment. You smile. You're pleasant. You never have a pity party over something that isn't going well. You take initiative. You, if you see waste baskets that need to be emptied, you empty them. If you are asked to run something on the photocopier, be glad that you got your foot in the door and don't complain about it. If you are a pleasant person to deal with, if you are always helpful, if you can take the initiative when you see someone that is struggling and help them get it done, it will be noticed. It can be noticed very quickly because volunteers like that are absolutely priceless and the senior staff loves them and so does the candidate. By the way, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section and be sure to subscribe while you're at it. The fourth thing, and this is really important to your route to a paid position, and this is where you're involved with a political campaign and you observe things that are not being done well and figure out a way to do them better. And I'm going to tell you a story. It was 40 years ago I volunteered in a campaign for a candidate running for governor of a state in the Midwest. I dutifully showed up every day. When I was asked to be there, I dutifully did the mundane, the stupid stuff that volunteers are asked to do, and some fun stuff. But after being around for three, four weeks, I noticed something about the candidate. Sometimes when he gave speeches, he stumbled. He kind of lost his way. He wasn't expressing his views in the way that audiences understood. So one night I did something that I'd never done before. I went to my office and I locked the door and I wrote a speech for him. And I sat there on this manual typewriter and typed it for him. And before I went home, I left it on his desk. The next morning he came in and I heard him come in and he 
looked at that speech on his desk, and about 20 minutes later, he walked out of his office and started walking down the hallway and said, who wrote this speech? Who is it? Who here wrote this speech? I knew everybody else would deny doing it, and he would figure it out, so I just walked out of my office and said, I did, sir. And he says, I have been waiting for someone to notice that I was having trouble with my speeches. Thank God you're here. From this point on, I want you writing all of my speeches. I want you in the car with me when I travel. I want you in every meeting that I am in so you remember what I've told people. It's not quite the end of the story. Of course, I got the paid position at that point. But some of those people he met with were really high-powered people in this state, including his New York City political consultant who was doing his advertising. I was in meetings with the three of them. At one point, I said something that he evidently thought was a really smart, incisive thing to say. And he said, do you have any samples of your work? And I gave it to him. After the campaign was over, he called and said, would you like to come work for us in New York City? That was my route to a job in a political consulting firm in New York, one of the most prominent in the country, having started as a volunteer the year before. My final point in this video is the importance of access to a candidate and access to senior staff. If you take initiative, you're more likely to be noticed by both, but sometimes your moment of opportunity will come when you least expect it. And I'm going to quote something that I read that Churchill said and that has been with me since I was 15. It comes a time in everybody's life when they're offered the chance to do something special, unique to them and fitted to their talent. And what a tragedy it is when that moment finds them unprepared or unqualified for that work. You never know when you're going to be called into a meeting with the candidate. You'll never know when you're going to be called into the meeting of a senior staff and asked to explain something about what you are doing or give them a progress report on a project, or maybe even just ask your opinion. This is your first chance to make a good impression. You never get a second chance to do that. If you are on top of things, if you know exactly where you are with the project that's important, if you know exactly the progress that's been made, if you can articulate the challenges you face in completing that project in a way that's easy to understand, if you have bothered to read the newspaper so that you're up to date on what's going on in the world, and the state where you live and the community where this campaign is. So anything that may have happened the day before, you are already aware of it and on top of it. It will be your chance to make a tremendous good first impression. I have seen that happen countless times. It is one of the best routes to a position on a campaign payroll. In the link below this video, you're gonna find a video entitled, What You Get by Volunteering for a Political Campaign. And I go into even greater detail than I did in this video about some of the benefits of doing it. Be sure to watch it.